All right, Yinzers, what's up? Hope Yinzers are all doing good out there today. So as promised, I am going to do a uh, review of the Grip Force adapter right here. This is an adapter that goes on the rear grip of your Glock pistol, okay? Really easy installation, and what it does is it gives you like an extended beaver tail on it. This is the package that it comes in. You get a large one and a small one. And you also get a few trigger housing pins, okay? Has all the info on the back, made in America. Website, which I'll put a link down to below. So, what exactly is a grip force adapter? Let's open it up. I'm going to show it to you. And then I have one installed on my firearm. So, basically, what it is, it's a piece of polymer, okay? You get a larger one and you get a smaller one. Now, of course, I put the smaller one on my Glock 27. Comes with some stippling, some grooves here if you want them up here, or to smooth. Me preferred the smooth over the grooves here, but that's personal preference, okay? So they come like that, they have the hole here for the uh, firing pin, okay? And it also comes, well, the housing pin, sorry. It also comes with a file, okay? Because on some of these, you have to remove some of this material here. Now, they do have a video showing that you can just use a Dremel with a little uh, drum sander on it and remove it. But for me, when I have to remove any material off of stuff like this, I like to do it by hand. Because you have more control over it, you don't take off too much, and then you're screwed you can't use it whatever the case may be the file comes in four different grits it's a four-way file so it really is excellent you know it takes a little more time but you could be a little more precise on what you have to remove because sometimes you might have to remove some of this rib here these two ribs and maybe some of this that's what i had to remove to get it on my 27 but some of them come where you just snap it right on all depends on your Glock, what you, what you have, if you have a full size, mid size, things like that. So for me, it really is a nice product. If you got chubby hands and you get a lot of slide bite with a Glock, this will definitely fix your problem. Okay. So as you can see here, I got the limb saver grip on it. So we're going to take that off. Comes off real easy. Okay. And then here is the grip force adapter right here okay and all you do is you pop out this trigger housing pin they supply you with pins which are a little longer let me grab one here okay they're gonna be a little longer than what the original one is and what that does is it makes for a nice flush fit on the gun okay so let's put that there let me kind of zoom a little bit. There we go. So it's a little better. So there's the profile you get. You see how that sticks out now? For me, it never bothered me before, but it gives you a lot of room here so you don't get the slide bite. So all I did was pop that out. Let me grab his phone real quick. It's my man, Tony from White Hat. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a video. I'll call him back. All right, sweet. So anyways, back to the uh, lecture at hand. So what I did is I used the small one, like I said, all right, and then I just filed off some of the material here, okay? Started out with the fine or the medium, whatever it was, and I took off what I needed and I kept fitting it and fitting it and fitting it. Now, once you get off the material that you need to fit it, all you do is you put it on the pistol and then when these holes here line up with your pin holes or pretty much close to it then you're ready to rock and roll because what you do is you push the pin through as you're driving at the other one okay and you're gonna push in on it and when you push in on it it's gonna give you it's gonna bend in a little bit so it's gonna give you some more room and as you're pushing their pin in the original factory pin comes out you snap it over it it really is nice you get a nice fit 
as you can see there it's not it doesn't really add any wow uh, length or width to the gun it's very very small as you can see I'm just trying to get a close up there and focus and I still want to put another grip on here like a sandpaper grip I got some grips I gotta put on because that's pretty uh pretty grippy right there kind of digs into the meteor see the prints right there already so as far as shooting it some people like it like that some people don't with me with the 27 I need to have something on here whether it's grip tape or the the limb saver because of the you know the recoil and stuff like that but it's firm as you can see it does not move at all and that's what you want you don't want it to move okay let's check it so that's what it looks like. That's how far your hand is going to ride away from the slide. So that's pretty nice. For me, that's a lot of room. So if you have chubby hands, then that's when I'm really going to clear your hand a lot. And for me, it was never a problem before, but I really like it. And as far as carrying, it really doesn't protrude much at all as far as picking up any print or anything like that. It doesn't carry any different. Still fits in the same holster as you could see. Not a problem at all. Doesn't affect anything on it. And what's nice about this holster is it still comes up almost flush with the skin guard here. So I absolutely dig it. Again, it's grip force adapters i know i rambled on long enough here but go check them out if you have a problem with slide bite on your glock this will definitely be the answer for you and they do have a video up on you know how to remove the material if you have to but like i said i've seen videos where this just snaps right on if you don't have to remove any of the material but i did and as you can see i removed just enough because i really have no play in it at all and it's really thin and it really does make a difference for sure now I haven't shot with it yet on it so I really can't give a uh, testament to that but I don't see it being a problem at all that pin is in there it is not coming out you just want to make sure that it's flush on both sides and for me I like the smooth grooves right here because that's in your webbing there and I you know for me personally on the one with the groove it would still be all right I guess but I like the smoothness of it and that's the bigger one so this is for like the 23 uh, maybe even the 1917 blah 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 all the stuff it does say here what it's compatible it just gives you nice directions and again that file coming with it really is a bonus because you you don't have to have a Dremel. I did it all by hand. For me, it definitely worked. So go check them out. Again, enough rambling. Grip Force Adapters for the win. All right, Yenzers. Have a positive day. I'll talk to you later. Looking for me marbles, and I'm out.